Hi everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, I got a lot to explain. And this week, Niantic has announced the next Community Day as part of the season of Alola, and it will be Alolan Geodude. This is good for those who didn't get Alolan Geodude as shiny, such as myself. It will take place May 21st, 2022 from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. local time. And of course, if you evolve Alolan Graveler into Alolan Golem, it can learn the move Rollout. The special research story for this will be called A Rocky Road for $1 or equal equivalent depending on which part of the world you are in. And you also have the option to gift someone this special research ticket. The downside is gifting cannot be completed if you had already bought the ticket or someone else gifted you the, the said ticket. The event bonuses include three times Stardust for catching Pokemon, two times chance for receiving Geodude XL candies from catching Alolan Geodude. Lore modules will be active for for at least three hours during the event and same thing with incense as well as two times catch candy you'll be able to make one special trade during the event and up to two hours afterwards and of course trades made during and two hours after the event will require less stardust about 50 percent and of course you can take up to five snapshots and you'll be photobombed by a Lolan Geodude. Event, event bundles for this will include a one-time community day box for one, I mean, 975 Poke Coins, which will give you a super incubator, a lucky egg, an elite fast TM, and one star piece a bundle containing 30 ultra balls will be for free you don't have to pay any pokey coins to get it in other pokemon news also announced this week niantic has announced there will be updates to mega raids and more and of course mega raids will now change which in involves mastery of mega levels so if you manage to complete the mega evolution level for that species of pokemon you'll be able to evolve your pokemon that can mega evolve without the use of mega energies like for example if i want to evolve my my shundo mega venusaur he won't need no energy once I finally complete the said task. And of course, they've also hinted and teased Mega Legendary Raids with the cries of Latios and Latios in the video for Dev Diaries over on their YouTube channel. I will post the link to the video and the article talking about this from the devs over at Niantic. Also announced and confirmed is Pokemon Go Fest 2022, the global event. The ticket for the for the global event is now live in the in-game store for $15 plus tax or equal equivalent depending on which part of the world you are in. You'll be able to have access to gameplay on both Saturday and Sunday of June 4th 
and June 5th. And you'll also have access to a additional bonus day on August 27th, 2022. And of course, for day one, the following Pokemon will spawn in habits. Magnemite, Alolan Grimer, Hitmochan, Baltoy, Trash Cloak Burmy, Bronzor, P Dove, Trubbish, Garith, Gallet, and Litten. And of course, there will be a new costumed variant of Pikachu based on Shyman, the, the mythical Pokemon from the Sinnoh region in Gen 4, which will make its debut into Pokemon Go as a result of this event. And of course, the following Pokemon will be available as Shinies. Magnemite, Alolan Grimer, Hitmochan, Baltoy, Burmy in its Trash Cloak form, Bronzor, P-Dove, Trubbish, as well as Pikachu with the Shyman costume, and also making its debut as a Shiny, Galarian Weezing. This is for the city habitat. Costume Pikachu will be spawning during all the habitats. You'll also be able to get Girafferig, Dunsparce, Larvitar, Numble, Trap Pinch, Buzzle, Pat Rat. Of course, Shelmet will also be making its debut as a shiny along with Carablast. And you'll also be able to get Rollet, Litleo, and even Axwat will be getting its shiny form for, for this event. For the Rainforest Habitat, you'll be able to catch the following Pokemon that are also available as shinies and those that will not be available as shinies, like Mudkip, Seed Dot, Shroomish, Slackloth, Turtwig, Chimchar, Venipede, Carablast, Benacle, Skrelp, Rollet, and Pancham, but of course, only Venipede, Binnacle, Skrelp, Rollet, and Pancham will not be available as Shinies. For the Tundra habitat, you'll get Ammonite, Snubble, Wingle, Metatite, Whalmer, Sweel, Pinplup, Vanillite, Cubchoo, Bergmite, Hotleo, and Galarian Daramica. The following Pokemon in this list will, that will not be available as Shinies are Vanillite, Bergmite, and Poplio. And of course, costumed Pikachu and Axwat will also be available in One Star Raids. And you'll get some bonuses if you buy the ticket, which of course unlocks the special research for Shyman. And of course, you'll have alternate paths to choose. And of course, you'll be able to choose between relaxed, standard, and master difficulties for your special research. The difficult level you select will affect which sticker you receive as a reward, but otherwise not change your special research rewards. Which of course, if you choose the three options, catch, explore, or battle, this will probably happen at the end of the said special research event after you've completed the special research task, which was first introduced during Johto Tour. And of course, also making its debut as a shiny will be Unknown B, and you'll also be able to get Unknown G, Unknown O, and Unknown U, and Clink in the city habitat if you use your incense and they'll be available as shinies. You'll also be able to catch Torkoal. The rainforest setting you'll be able to catch Tropius, which of course are region exclusives. Torkoal and Tropius, which are the region exclusive Pokemon from the Hoenn region. The Tundra setting, you'll also be able to get Galarian Mr. Mine, as well as Galarian Garamica. Now for the Rainforest Habitat, 
you'll also get Pancham. And for day two, the raids from level one are the same as from day one, and you'll be able to catch a legendary which has yet to be announced as of this recording and it will be available as a shiny so stay tuned for what will be the legendary raid boss and five star raids that we'll be able to battle and catch and of course there will be an additional special research story after completing the short special research story available to all trainers with complete rewards and special Pokemon encounters. Every Pokemon attracted to incense on Saturday will be attracted to incense once again on Sunday during event hours. And you'll be able to also encounter Team Go Rocket balloons during the event. And there will be mysterious components when you defeat Team Go Rocket grunts. For both days, you'll be able to be able to do things like post your snapshots on social media and of course I already mentioned that Pikachu with Shyman costume will be available in Pokemon Go in the wild and in raids and it will be available as a shiny and there will be photo bombing encounters during the event and for ticket exclusive events if you spin photo discs at gyms you can earn up to nine free raid passes and they'll be only available for use in in-person raids collect special stickers from gifts and pokestops as i already mentioned you'll be able to take up to five snapshots for photo bomb encounters and of course there will be a bonus finale event if you buy this ticket and a new special research story with Pokemon encounters and more and of course if you purchase the global ticket in June you'll be able to get the uh, you'll be able to get this event for free no charge but of course if you didn't purchase the June event the ticket for that will be available for $10.99 plus tax or equal local equivalent times. One more thing. Catch me on Twitch this weekend as I will be back to live streaming around 1 for, for a potential live stream. I will announce it on on Twitter and Instagram when the time comes. And of course, I will be live streaming that Alolan Geodude Community Day. And I will also eventually be streaming the GoFest events as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Twitch and TikTok. And remember, it's time for adventure!